uh, in lesson 5 is graphic design in using adobe photoshop we now move on to activity number 5 okay we'll be, we will be learning how to use even more tools so let's open activity number 5 uh, let's come to view assignment so in this assignment we will be learning about magic erasm move tool text tool and also the shapes tool so you have three images to download let's download each of them so you come to open a new window and download this image okay and then you can go to the next one open a new window and uh, we download this as well and then we go to the next one and we come over here open a new window and we click on the download button okay so in your downloads folder you should be having three images now for this particular activity i will not be using paint i will only be using photoshop because it's a bit complex and it would not work very well with paint okay so i have three images over here so previously i was showing you how to open with photoshop now i'm going to show you a different method i'm going to be selecting all three images using my mouse i selected all three of them and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something which we call a drag and drop. So I'm going to drag these images, come over to Photoshop and take it right onto the top and I'm going to drag it. Make sure you have come to the top, okay? Don't drop it in the middle, drop it on the top. Okay, you can take your hand off the mouse now. Okay, so now all three images have appeared over here. So what we want to do is we want to get this graduate brought in front of this library background, okay? And then we want the come the school or university logo to be over here over here on the left and here we're going to be putting some text at the bottom okay let's get started the first thing the first thing what i want to do is i said i want to get this graduate all the way over here so we can always use the move tool okay so i have the move tool shortcut key is v so i take the move tool drag this image all the way over to here okay so now i'll release the mouse okay so image has come over here the image is way too big for this background so what I can do is I'm going to make this image smaller I'm going to be pressing control T okay first make sure you are on the correct layer okay so you can name this layer as graduate graduate okay so it will be easy for you to refer to so click on the graduate layer and then press control T okay now you can see the corners have become resizable so while pressing the shift key always resize from the corner while pressing the shift key I repeat so press the shift key drag this make it smaller so why are we pressing the shift key when you press the shift key the image resizes proportionally okay so when one side gets smaller the other sides also become smaller it's proportional okay so this looks way too small I'm going to make it a little more uh, bigger pressing shift and from the corners and we make it something like that yeah that looks better even more bigger I think okay this looks better maybe slightly smaller okay so if you're okay with it you press enter so now i do need to get rid of this white background so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking the magic eraser okay i told you the magic eraser will erase one particular white color so i'm going to be touching this so now we do have a problem what happens is the uh, scroll is also going away okay you can see this scroll is the same color as this background so when i click on this the scroll is also going so what i'll have to do is i'll have to very neatly select the area that i want uh, gone first okay so i'm going to select all the way from here to here okay from here to here i would say okay going to go from here to here okay so this area has been selected so now i'm going to take the magic eraser and say either is the white color that is inside this particular area okay so the white has gone also this particular white okay that too has gone so now I want to deselect this area so I take the selection tool I come to the border of these dots right click and say deselect now that area got deselected now I'm going to make my next 
reflection I'm going to be selecting all the way from here all the way up to here make sure you don't touch the scroll okay well, let me do it again deselect let's select from here all the way up to here okay make sure you don't touch that scroll over there then take the magic eraser erase that area oh this white is still remaining so let's deselect come all the way over here and uh, no that's not proper deselect so you can zoom in control plus so that you can see this area better so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be selecting all the way from here well, that's also not enough deselect as close as possible to the scroll that's better and i'm going to go all the way down and i'm going to take the magic eraser tool click on it erase that white Okay, so slowly by slowly, part by part, we are going. Let's deselect this area. Take the selection tool, deselect, and then let me select this area all the way from here to here. And I'm going to be saying remove the white color from here. Okay, so the white color goes from here. The white color goes from here as well. Then deselect again. So a bit messy, but okay. So now comes the difficult part where we will have to very neatly do our work without touching this hole so take the magic eraser erase that bit okay uh, so now it's going to be using the eraser tool i think even this area we can go for using so magic eraser chuck that's gone Again, let's draw it from somewhere over here to here. So let's deselect this and let's draw from somewhere from here to here. That white color is gone. Okay, so now let's go with the eraser. Let's go with the eraser. The eraser is way too big. Let's deselect this area first. Deselect. And what we're going to do is we're going to start erasing now. So I'm going to take the eraser tool. It's way too big. So I'm going to make the size much smaller. Okay, this is better and now I'm going to be gently erasing the white area from over there. Okay, so same thing applies over here as well. I'm going to be gently touching that area. Okay, this area as well. Just zoom out and make sure things look fine. I think that does look a bit weird. We can adjust that. Let's zoom in. Go onto the top. Okay. So let's come onto this side. A bit to go away from this side as well. Okay, so when you zoom out, uh, it hasn't got cropped very neatly. So let's see what else we can do. Let's come onto this side and try to you know, level this out. I think this should be fine. Okay, let's just touch those hands a bit. Okay, let's zoom out. So, looks okay to me, not, it doesn't look perfect. Okay, so there we do have the graduate. Uh, now, what we've got to do is we're going to get the logo brought over here. Okay, so we have the logo over here. So what you can do over here is you can take the magic eraser and erase the background before you move it. Okay, just click over here, click over here. Okay, you can click on all these white colors. Which of these white colors you can... So we 
clip on each of these and uh, I have to spend some time on this uh, and uh, now I think it seems fine. So take a move tool and you can move the image over here. Okay, so you have the logo. The logo looks way too big. So press Control T and I told you from the corner as well, pressing the Shift key, do make it small, make it over here. Okay, that looks better. If you're okay with the size, do press enter. Okay, so you can see there are some areas where the white color is still there. So we can go on, take the magic eraser tool, and we can remove those white areas from over here. Okay. Okay, so just do the few touches as well to make this look perfectly back in order. Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting at the bottom a black uh, kind of a rectangle, a dark blue rectangle maybe, and then we can put the name of the university at the bottom. Or we can put graduates 2019 or 2020, for example. So what I'm going to be doing over here is I'm going to come to Shapes tool. We have the Shapes tool over here. I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to go with the Rectangle tool. Okay, so I have a Rectangle tool right now, which is ready for drawing. So I'm going to be drawing from somewhere from all the way from here to here. I'm going to be drawing a rectangle. Okay, so right now my rectangle, the fill is yellow, the stroke, stroke is basically the outline color is black and the outline is less than 1.1, so it's hardly visible. So I'm going to go for a dark blue fill, okay, I'm just going to go for something like this, a dark blue fill like this. And for stroke, I'm going to keep no stroke, so I by mistake me click the move tool. So if I want to make changes to the colors of this shape, I have to come back into shape tool and make sure that particular shape has already been selected in the layer area. Okay, so I have already selected this rectangle. I have come back to my tool uh, shape tool. Okay, then I can see the fill color and the stroke color. I'm going to say I want no stroke. Okay, so that's done. Then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the text tool. Okay, taking the text tool and I'm going to be clicking over here. You can click over here and you can start typing. You can type here 2000 graduates graduates 2020 okay so I'm going to select this and I'm going to be making it a bit smaller 36 okay and I'm going to make it a white color okay and I'm going to say okay also I'm going to be changing the font to something like Times New Roman maybe okay I'm going to make it bold I'm uh, going to make it slightly bigger. Okay, so now I want to move this uh, text tool. Okay, well, this text I want to bring it somewhere down. So the small spelling, the small mistake. It should it should be graduate, not graduates. So what you have to do is first make sure you're on the correct layer. So make sure you're on the text layer. Then take the text tool and gently come and click. Okay. So you look right now. Don't click. You have to wait until it becomes only the cursor. That's it. Then click over here. Press delete. Remove the S. So now I want to bring this down as well. So make sure you have selected the text layer. Then take the move tool and then you can move it with the mouse or else the arrow keys you can bring it down okay, to make it more aligned. Okay. And if you want to move any other uh, object on this image, make sure you click on the correct layer. Okay, Whichever object you want to move, make sure you click on the correct layer. And once you're done with that, uh, come over here, file, save as. So I will be saving the Photoshop file because as I told you in the previous uh, lesson, if you have to move objects around, okay, you have to have the Photoshop file, okay. Only if you have the Photoshop file, these layers will be separate so that you can move them as you wish, okay. But if you have only the JPEG file, it's going to be useless because uh, the JPEG file does not have the layers separated, okay. They are all together. I'll just show you right now. So file, save as. I'm going to save it as uh, activity 
5 using Photoshop okay and I'm going to save it as a Photoshop file okay PSD click on save okay and I'm also going to be saving it as a JPEG image JPEG and I'm going to be saving it as the save okay so now let me close everything to show you how what I meant by having both the files okay so no so now look over here I'm going to be opening now generally what happens is this particular file is used for example to upload on the internet or for people to view on their mobile phones okay so I'm going to open it with Photoshop and show you look if I open with Photoshop look it's just one layer okay so if I want to move the girl if I want to move the text if I want to move the logo it's not possible now okay if I want to do all that I need to have the Photoshop file okay look if I open the Photoshop file you can see all the layers have come separately so for example if my customer tells me look I want the girl moved a little more onto the right hand side no problem I can just click on the girl click on the move tool and then I can move her all the way onto the right okay I can just move it like this is it clear so when you work with photos or when you work with images where there are multiple layers always remember save the JPEG file also save the Photoshop file in case you have to edit later on okay then once you're done with that uh, please make sure you go back into the classroom okay come into the classroom add or create uh, add your files there so that I can check them if you do have any questions drop a private comment you can drop it on the YouTube video you can drop it in the classroom or you can even WhatsApp me okay and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions so open it upload it and once you have uploaded do not forget to click the terminal button